what's up you guys and welcome back to my youtube channel today we're going to be doing the atlanta baddie girl makeup on vitiligo here's the picture here this is my first time trying it so let's just pray and hope that it works out say hello to rosie that's my girl so i'm using the anastasia brow wig i think it's dark brown we're gonna start off with the brow freeze apply it on your brows and i'll take this brush brush them up some more and i'm gonna go ahead and just start filling it in but since i have vitiligo this next part is a little different they just go in like with foundation so i'm just gonna have to do it in my own way i am using the anastasia concealer shade four and it's and for foundation i'm going to be using the l'oreal true match i'm using the iconic london underglow primer i love it it gives you a nice glow makes your skin feel good it's not dry i'm, I'm gonna carve my brows out you know bring it down do my typical patterns I'm going to blend this all out. I love doing my makeup this way. This is my favorite concealer because it's really thick and it gives you like really great coverage. Your skin doesn't peek through this one, but if you're looking for a concealer where your skin kind of peeks through, I actually like NARS, it's not as thick as this. Like I'm gonna use that one for like my everyday. Okay, so I'm bringing this up a little bit. If you have brown skin all over, I would suggest just using a um, concealer that is closer to your skin tone which is just what I do because I have vitiligo you know I put concealer on all of the white parts of my face I make sure to just go slow around the edges I don't want to have a lot to clean up I'm taking my L'Oreal true match foundation and I'm just going to carve it out just a little bit I'm just blending it all over I'm using the makeup forever and go in with my elf foundation brush that I'm just to go in and get like all the other like little parts of my face that I can't get with that brush okay. let's talk about making friends as an adult so I'm 27 and I like no longer have any of my childhood best friends or like close friends the only girls that I'm like friends with now two girls from college and then I've made some recent like adult friends I always wanted to make like new friends and get to know like other people I didn't know where to go what to do and then when a the pandemic happened you know we all got used to being alone being in the house I was blessed enough to meet some girls uh, through content creation like this events here in Chicago that I've been invited to I've met two girls, uh, well I've met multiple girls, but there's two girls in particular that like I'm actually building like a closeness with. I was like, it's better making friends as adults in my opinion, because you kind of just already know like your boundaries, what you're going to accept, like red flags to look out for within friendships. Like I just feel like it's better as an adult versus like you being in high school or in college like you just accept a lot you don't know any better but once you become an adult and you've been through like a few things and friendships like you know where you went wrong where that person went wrong and you can just like better adjust yourself i'm a capricorn and we're about our bread but i don't know i feel like capricorns are like the mom friends you just really have to learn like who you can give advice to and like who you can't like and you also have to decide like what kind of friend do you want to be do you want to be that friend where your friend is always telling you stuff and they're always going down the wrong road and you just have to be quiet about it or you want to be able to tell your friends like the real and i gotta be able to tell my friends the real without you getting offended without you wanting to not talk to me for a few days and because you're coming at someone and being like hey you've been talking to me about the situation you know you be asking for my advice here it is i cannot stand people that be asking for your advice and have absolutely no intention on taking your advice don't even ask if you need to vent just tell me you need to vent and like i won't say anything just like when you're in relationships you have to set your boundaries and friendships as well and i don't think people realize that sometimes that you have to treat a friendship just like you would treat a boyfriend a girlfriend whatever it's the same thing like with family like you just have to set your boundaries so i feel like going into these new friendships i've really been enjoying like the boundaries that I have for myself, the boundaries they have for themselves, and that we're all remaining in those boundaries and we're having a great time. So me and my friend were talking about like it also is difficult when you lose a friendship that is like, you know, you've been friends for more than 10 years and that person literally knows your whole life. When you don't have 
that friendship anymore it's hard because all these memories and these thoughts and y'all little inside jokes come up and you're like damn i don't got nobody to tell you like you want to you want to call me like girl guess who i just saw but you can't do that because you know your friends and your new friends don't know the context they like oh okay but you know it's just a lot and then when it comes to new friends like you do have to go slow way out the relationship before you get into the nitty-gritty before you're telling them everything and like that's rough for a person like me i like to chit chat i want to talk so it's hard to like be less vulnerable it's really easy for me to be vulnerable with people like one-on-one -on -one, not so much in a group but like on camera i really have to be like okay amber pull back let's not say too much let's fill this person now you know what i mean but i've really connected with the women that i've met so far and i love that but let me get back to this look i realized they are very highlighted in a lot of areas but again so i have the lago i have to move a little different so i'm going in with this like really like concealer to brighten up under my eyes so that's what i'm gonna do right now brighten this had this area like well so I have to highlight to my best judgment. Oh, I'm highlighting my brown parts now. I'm gonna be real with y'all, I've never thought to do this. So I'm learning something today with everybody. Eye is highlighted, so under here needs to be highlighted as well. Going off the few Atlanta makeup artists that I see. I just feel like this is gonna be cute, y'all. Trust the process. I know it ain't, it ain't looking right right now, but I feel like it will give what it's supposed to. What do people use to blend? I'm just gonna make something up because now I don't know what I'm doing. I'm getting lost. Maybe just pat this out. Let me pat this out. Maybe I should have started with the white first. Okay, learning curve, learning curve. I don't know y'all, what am I doing? Where is my friends at when I need them? I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna be real with y'all. Don't eat me up in the comments. I'm getting nervous because Baby, what am I doing? I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I'm getting so scared. I'm getting so scared. I don't know. Turn this out here. No one's ever done this with someone that looks like me that I've seen. So it's just like, this is really uncharted territory for everybody. It's blended in decent. Okay, y'all, this is, this is make or break right here. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring. They bring it down the bridge of the nose. Okay, so I'm just gonna blend this out. A lot of people be putting all these colors on their face. This is a lot, but I'm gonna be a baddie when I'm done. I'm on the subject of friends. Um, how do you guys feel about you know making guy friends as adults? I feel like it's very taboo. It's very strange. Um, I have guy friends, really just two. And they're like my friends from college. And I feel like now, like as an adult, if I were to like want to make guy friends, it would be so hard because you just wouldn't know like, okay, is he trying to be my friend or is he trying to be my man? So I don't know, I think I'm done. I got my two friends uh, and I'm just, I'm gonna stick beside them, I'm gonna stick with them. My Anastasia um, translucent powder under my eyes. Here, cause that's what they did. They kind of like carved out contour, kind of. It's a lot of work, y'all. I will not be doing this every day if it looks cute. I'm going to set the brown parts with this brown powder. I'm gonna go under here. Child, this ain't even bright enough. I might have just messed up my work. Yeah, maybe I should have just set it with all the same thing, and maybe it would have turned out better. I need to like dust this off. Press all this in. Shout out to the girls who be contouring and doing all that because baby, y'all got a job. I think this is still contouring. I don't know. So I went ahead and added the Fenty Beauty contour stick. This is shade Espresso. Um, to this side. So I'm just gonna do the same thing to this side. Let me look at what I did. Just very lightly, and not too much. Not too much. To just I guess warm my face up just a little bit do something I don't know what I'm doing y'all already know 
It's only my third day out here. I do not know what's going on. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> what is happening? Oh my gosh, you guys, this is like, this is such trial and error, you know? It's fun to do things. I'm having a time. I, I will say that I'm, this is a good learning experience. Okay, I just took a little bit of my foundation. I'm just gonna add it on top of that. I don't know, it looks crazy from my perspective. Maybe this is too dark for me. Maybe I should have got the other one. I have no idea. Okay, I'm just gonna blend these two things out. I need to get rid of this double chin, then I'll really be serving. But I'm gonna eat this summer. Okay, while I'm in this neck of the woods, literally, I'm going to just clean up this this little area. Mm. Okay, just put that out. I got nervous, y'all. I don't know what's going on. I don't know how to shape my face. Still on this long journey. <laughs> okay, so I noticed that the girls out there are very matte. They like don't use highlighter. They're very, very matte. So, which is why I keep going in with this powder. Okay, so I got this little bronzer. It's um, the Iconic London. Y'all, where that mug just fell out? <laughs> it's on the floor. Are you serious right now? I'm pressed. Oh, it's in shambles. I guess I'm not using that. Maybe that was God's way of being like, girl, no, don't touch that. Let's just go in with some blush. All the blushes are pretty much the same, but either like really, really pink or red. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Blush Trio. I'm gonna use this one. It's a little more pink, a little more peachy. It's very straight, just like this. It's very straight. They didn't bring it up like how I usually bring my blush up. They usually use quite a bit of blush. So that's what I'm gonna do too. Okay, y'all, are we coming together? Are we coming together? I don't know. Notice that, you know, all the girls that I see, they're dark-skinned women. All the videos I personally ran across, and so they use like a brown that was really close to their natural shade. Okay, and since I don't have brown eyes, I'm gonna go in with this Anastasia palette. Y'all, this palette is ate up, and I'm going in with this color. I think it's called Fleur. I'm gonna test that out. It's more like a pink and I need a brown oh child I'm sitting right here in front of a brown let me look at this I'm gonna use cargo um from this American Eagle palette yeah this is gonna get what I needed to um okay so I'm just putting this all over my lid this is the shade cargo I actually love how this looks actually this is looks pretty good um so yeah I'm just gonna blend this out all the way up here I see them usually do once the desired look you're going for up here is they add like some a lighter shade like right up in here and really make it pop like I thought like they do the same thing on the lids that they do with the lips so I'm just gonna use primer to brighten it up a little bit this like inner corner part kind of like a little cut crease I really just be winging it, y'all. I just be winging it. Okay, we are back in action after like 30 minutes because my phone decided to run out of storage. Like everything, the negative is doing everything to stop me from completing my videos. Okay, so I went ahead and just added the primer over here to this eye as well. And then I took the white from this palette and added it on top because the video that I'm going off of, it was very bright. I just figured adding the white on top will just really make it pop. Taking my fluffy brush and adding a little bit of cargo back in there to just kind of make it blend just a little bit. Okay, so everyone has black liner under their eyes. I'm gonna be using the Lancome Waterproof. So I'm just gonna go on with this liner and my waterline. I'm really not used to like having black under here. So this is a little uncomfortable for me. 
but I'm pretty sure it'll look cute in the ends. And then I'm just gonna smudge it out or well, attempt to smudge it out just a little bit. This has been a, a rough time trying to complete this. I'm gonna go ahead and add my lashes. Using the Glamnetic Lashes in this uh, style Verified. These are like the most like fluffiest ones I have. I see a lot of the Atlanta girlies have like the volume extensions but i don't have a lash like that so this is the best i got i have a feeling they do liner at the top so i'm just gonna add a little liner right here go ahead and do my bottom lashes i did my bottom lashes over here so i'm using the ysl mascara i probably should have did this like i did the other eye because this lash is getting in the way you really can't see the lashes like that with the black liner unless you got like really, really, really long. I think I might have just brought it down a little more than I should have. You guys, this look took so long because my phone just kept running out of storage. It just needed to be updated, but I still had to delete like so many apps and like so many pictures. It was like freaking ridiculous. I'm like, y'all just do not want me to finish filming this look really blend my lashes in with this <sighs> did i eat we're gonna see we'll see okay y'all so i'm just lining my lips anastasia lip liner color malt uh taking this up just a little bit higher it's always like a lot of brown so I'm using the Anastasia lip gloss and this is the shade Peachy Nude. Y'all, I think I ate. And I damn near think I need something a little lighter. But for the sake of the look, I'm gonna mix in some of my primer. And I'm only doing one side right now because I need to film for my other platforms. Because it's more of a nude, like a a white nude okay, and I'm gonna add some gloss on top because they lips be gloss flawless forget the color gloss and it's just the shade rosy outlook it's a clear gloss so and not even trying to like mix it too much just a little Ooh. hold on okay you guys this is the finished look Mmm, mmm, mmm. I fucking ate that. I ate that shit the fuck up, okay? I ate it up, okay? Oh my gosh, this is so freaking cute. Sometimes you just gotta believe in yourself. And you just got to believe in yourself. Cause I believe in you. Not too much of my singing, not a singer. But y'all, this look looks so good. How did I do? Do I have the Atlanta baddie fucking beat down? Is it giving Atlanta baddie? Is it giving? I did that. I For me to be a beginner, okay, I did that. Like, it looks so good. Ugh. Now, the last time I was like, who club can I go to? I'm really feeling that right now. Like, where can I go? I ain't going nowhere, but I'm gonna keep this on for the rest of the night. Um, but the next time I got somewhere important to go, I'm gonna do this look because it is really freaking giving. Like it is flawless. It is flawless. I, I'm still here hyping my damn self up. I'm sorry, I'm back. I just have to come back and show y'all the look in the, with some star lighting. Ugh. Did I still eat? Did I still eat? I did, I did, yeah. Seven plus one equals eight. eight. Shout out to my uh, TikTok commenter who commented that because I didn't learn about that until then. But yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let me know if you like this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.